I have finally done it. I can finally upgrade my old laptop to a proper streaming and video editing PC. Oh, but dang, I only have $2,000 and I don't actually know which one to buy. Hmm, there are too many choices and this is much harder than I thought. Looks like you need some help. Who's that? It's me, the Overseer PC, the seeker of deals and the helper of gamers. What? Awesome. Alright, let's get started here. We'll pick brand new parts for your build, no use parts, and parts should be available at the time of recording. Sounds good? Mm-hmm. Now, we are basing our prices off Amazon US, but for everyone else outside the region, you can still use this as a guide if you're planning to build a PC with similar use case. Let's start off with our processor and for that we're going to pick a Core i5 processor. Wait, what? You're getting me a Core i5? Dude! Okay, hear me out. We are getting the latest 13th generation Intel Core i5 13600K. This comes with 6 performance cores and a whopping 8 efficient cores. That's a whole lot of cores man. That's 14 cores all in all. The 6 performance cores will be more than enough on your gaming needs and the 8 performance cores will help you with your multitasking and streaming tasks. I know, it's very important that you get the game model as the Intel integrated graphics will also help us when we're editing. And all of this comes to only $319. Now this chip would run really hot given that it has a maximum TDP of 181 watts at max boost. So we'll definitely need a good cooler and what we have picked here is the Arctic Liquid Freezer 360 AIO. This is a highly rated cooler, keeps everything pretty cool for only $125. Now here's the kicker though, it doesn't come with RGB and if you want an ARGB setup, you'll probably have to pick the 280 model at the same cost but for me personally because I am a functionalist, I would pick the 360mm AIO design and this will ensure that we have better headroom in case we want to upgrade later on to a Core i7 or i9. For the motherboard, there are two pathways here. Either we go with a DDR4 RAM or we go the DDR5 route. So we're going for the DDR5 route, right? Because we want the up-to-date system? Well, we're actually going with a DDR4 route because there is not much difference between the two in terms of performance. I mean, the DDR4 RAM is cheap, so we could save more to use for other components. And what we have picked is the cheaper Z790 motherboard, and that is the Asus Prime Z790-P Wi-Fi D4 motherboard. Yes, boys, we have picked up a Z790 chipset because this platform will give us the most PCIe lanes, which we'll need for the number of our drives. As mentioned, this comes with a Z790 chipset, has heat sinks on our VRM and the NVMe. The VRM setup of this board is also pretty good, comes with 14 plus 1 power face and it also comes with 3 M.2 slots, 7 USB slots, a Thunderbolt which is an integral in technology for our productivity functions. Hey, it even comes with Wi-Fi but don't use Wi-Fi mics, I just actually just use a cheap cable plug it in, lossless, lag-free connection. And of course, to increase our PC stats, this also comes with all our favorite RGB ports. Ah uh, yes, definitely don't want to miss out on RGB. Yeah, and this is only priced at $240. And this is actually a good deal. The RAM that we're picking for this build is the Theme Group T-Force Vulcan Z. DDR4 32GB 3600MHz speeds with standard timings of 18, 22, 22, 42. There's no RGB on this one boys. But what we get is a good deal. 18% off bringing it down to 80 bucks. That's 32GB of 3600MHz boys for $80. That's a no brainer. Just bag this one and don't forget to enable XMP at the BIOS. Storage is really important for our productivity build. So when we do video editing, it is one of the most vital components. So here's the deal. Most video editors would use either Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. I personally use Adobe Premiere, which I recommend, but unfortunately it does come with a subscription-based payment. Here's what you'll need. So we'll need a couple of 512 gigabytes Crucial P3 Plus PCIe 4.0 drives. This runs at 
up to 5,000 megabytes per second sequential reads and write. So why two? One will be for our operating system. So that's Windows and all our other application. And the other will be for our media cache drive. This drive will make your workflow faster when you're editing as it'll probably be used as a cache by your video editing software. So that's where they put the files temporarily while you're doing all those edits. These boys are only at $42 a pop. So bag these ones. Now we'll also need our gaming or storage drive which will be another crucial P3 but this time we'll go with a 1TB Gen 3 drive which is only at 64 bucks. Now you can increase the size of this drive or you can just get additional you know traditional hard drives later on for extra storage. Wow I didn't realize that you'll need a lot of drives for this setup. Well yeah um, set up with the drives is very important for streaming and video editing PC. Now, before we proceed boys do note that we do these PC builds picks guide every month on different price points so if you're planning to build a new PC in the next few months hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on the deals that we're trying to highlight. Alright let's go back to for our graphics card we'll have to go with the RTX 4070 Ti. The 4070 Ti, isn't it the NVIDIA ripoff edition? Well, yes, it was also called a 4080 12GB and yes, it has very poor value but this is what we'll need for your setup. And what we're picking here is this one, the PNY RTX 4070 Ti Gaming Virto Epic X Triple Fan Design. Just basic RGB styling with 12GB of VRAM. 12GB? Isn't that lacking? Well, it'll be okay for your needs. One of the reasons why we have selected this is because of the AV1 encoder support. Now, AV1 isn't supported yet with Twitch, but YouTube is highly capable of this. So AV1 is the latest open source encoder, which has really good performance even at lower bit rates. This basically outperforms the old NVIDIA encoder, the NVENC. So yes, this is the main reason why we're going for a 40 series card because streaming quality matters if you're streaming. And yes, it's expensive and will set us back 840 bucks, but it will suit your needs. Performance of this card is close to the old flagship. The 7900 XT AMD card is slightly faster at 4K, but in most instances, boys will be gaming at 1080p or 1440p on our competitive games if you want that competitive edge. So yeah, that's why we're picking this one. For our power supply, we'll pick a decent 850 watt power supply boys and that's the Thermaltake Tough Power 850 watts. This comes with conventional RGB which we don't need, modular design, 80 plus gold rating but the main part here is that it comes with a 10 year warranty which is pretty good for our peace of mind and this is currently at 20% off bringing the price down to $120. For our case, we have picked the Fantex Eclipse G360A. This comes with a standard mesh front and three ARGB fans on the front or the RGB as Fantex calls it and a small slid strip on the side. Of course, we'll keep those fans there and we'll put our AIO on the top. This is pretty neat and the build quality of this case is pretty decent. So bag this one boys for 100 bucks. Overall, you have a pretty solid streaming and video editing rig here. Definitely much better value compared to any of the pre-builds out there. You have the latest i5 with 14 cores, a Z790 motherboard, which can cater to all our PCIe drives, 32 GB of RAM, which we'll need for video editing, the 4070Ti, a decent power supply with 10 years warranty and a good case. All of this for only $1,972.83. Now that one bro is an amazing deal. As always, all product affiliate links are in the description. If you're interested in more of our PC build specs guide don't forget to subscribe to the channel boys we'll be looking at a cheaper price bracket next time on our upcoming videos so stick around for that one and we'll see you guys later